Good morning and welcome to our feast day of St Marcelin Champagne Mass for 2022. A warm welcome to all our past families, staff, who have been able to join us this morning. It's wonderful to have you here celebrate with us. The feast of St Marcelin Champagne celebrates the connection we have here at Burdekin Catholic High School to the global Maris community. St Marcelin started primary schools in the country areas of France over 200 years ago to give an education to children who would not have received, normally received, that opportunity. Today, there are Maris schools and other Maris ministries in over 80 countries around the world. To be Marist is to be a follower of Jesus, and we live this way in the Catholic tradition. This year, we celebrate the 150th anniversary of the opening of the first Maris Brothers School in Australia. As we begin our celebration, we pray in thanksgiving for the legacy of these first Marists to Australia and recall how they and St Marcelin listened to and were guided by the Holy Spirit in their hearts, giving them the strength and inspiration to care for the young people of their time. We know that this same spirit is alive in each of us and we pray that through our words and actions, we too can make a difference in the lives of others today. Please welcome Harrison Lamon and Charlie Carter to lead us in acknowledgement of country. I bring this acknowledgement of country in spirit of reconciliation with the peoples of Burugaba Nation and out of respect for the partnership being forged between Burdekin Catholic High School and traditional owners. We gather on traditional country of the Jewry and Bindal peoples. Our journeys have drawn us near and far, travelling across Bindal country to the north and through Jewry country to the south. I pay respect to the elders, past, present and emerging, for they are the keepers of memories, traditions, stories and culture. They hold the hopes for our future in unity. I also recognise the contribution of the Torres Strait Islander and South Sea Islander peoples in founding the Burdekin, its industries and community. Let us be mindful as we gather together that each of us also brings our own presence, story and culture to rest for a time on this country. Let us stand as we begin our celebration and join in with our opening hymn, Love is What We Need. I'm 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Holy Father, you have revealed the commandment of the new law through your only begotten Son and show us how to put into practice by the inspiring example of St. Marceline. In this 150th anniversary of marriage education in, education in Australia, may our hearts be open to open in gratitude, strengthened by the same spirit, calling us forward in this present time to make Jesus Christ known and loved. Grant us, we pray, the grace to persevere in loving all our brothers and sisters, as Marceline did, uh, thought, and to lead our world to the knowledge of the truth of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. I, wisdom, poured forth rivers. I, like a rivulet from a stream, channeling the waters into paradise, said to myself, I will water my plants, my flower bed I will drench. And suddenly this rivulet of mine became a river, and the stream of mine a sea. Thus do I send my teachings forth, shining like the dawn, to become known afar off. I shall penetrate the lower parts of the earth, and I shall look upon all who sleep, and enlighten those who hope in God. Thus do I pour out instruction like prophecy, and bestow it on generations to come. And I shall continue in their descendants forever. See, I have worked not for myself alone, but for all who seek instruction. The word of the Lord. The response is, happy the one whom the Lord instructs. Happy the one whom the Lord instructs, who greatly delights in God's commands. Their posterity shall be mighty upon this earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Response? Wealth and riches shall be in their house. Their generos generosity shall endure forever. They dawn through the darkness, a light for the upright. They are gracious and merciful and just. Response? Well for the one who is gracious and lends, who conducts their affairs with justice. They shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Response? An evil report they shall not fear. Their heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Their heart is steadfast, they shall not fear. Till they look down on his foes. Response? Lavishly they give to the poor, their generosity shall endure forever, their horn shall be exhalated in glory. Response?
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all, as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to welcome the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he, he put among them and, and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes, whoever becomes humble, like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such as such child in my name welcomes me. If anyone, if any of you put a stumble, stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it will be better for you if a great millstone were fastened round your neck and you were drowned, drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. Occasions of stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you, in heaven, the angels continually see the face of the Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we commemorate the 150th anniversary of the opening of the first Marist Brothers School in Australia. It was opened in the Marist Fathers Parish at the Rocks in Sydney on the 8th of April, 1872, and known as St. Patrick's Boys School. On that day, 139 boys were enrolled. The brothers who staffed the school had only recently arrived from Sydney after a six-week voyage from France by ship. These brothers were quite young, nervous about leaving their homeland, but were quite looking forward to starting the new school. The leader was a 29-year-old Frenchman named Brother Ludwig. His assistant was an Irishman, Father Bro Brother Jarlet, aged 25, Brother Augustine, aged just 21, 
and from Scotland was Brother Peter, 25, another Irishman, was to be the cook. With such a large number of students enrolled in what was a very rough part of Sydney at the time, the brothers faced some challenging moments with the enthusiasm and sometimes cheeky nature of the boys. St. Marcelin Shemtabnet would always encourage the brothers to ask Mary, the mother of Jesus, to pray for them and the students in their care. St. Marcelin believed, as we do today, that Mary was our good mother, protects, guides, and encourages us all to do all to do what we do in our lives. During those first few weeks of the school, when the brothers were having a particularly difficult time with the students, they established an altar dedicated to Mary and asked the boys to decorate it with flowers. During the month of May, traditionally a time when Catholics honor Mary, the brothers and the boys prayed for each other and the new school. Within a short time, the boys settled down into a routine of learning. This story has become known as the May Miracle. From these humble beginnings, more schools were opened in Sydney, and before too long, the Maris were asked to open schools in cities and rural areas around the country, in New Zealand and the Pacific. Today, there are 56 Maris schools in Australia. Aware of the need for secondary education, Brother Ludovic encouraged his principal teacher, Brother Augustine, to found the first Maris Brothers High School in 1875, also at St. Patrick's. The original school building no longer exists today, replaced by a tall office block. In 1962, the school's name, colours and crest were re-established at Dundas and today the school is known as St. Patrick's Maris College. The Maris first came to the Burdekin in January 1953 after the Townsville Bishop wrote to the Maris Brothers Provincial in 1951 about the possibility of opening a school in Eyre. Classes commenced on the 2nd of February 1953 with 70 male pupils ranging from grades 4 through to grade 8 and three teachers. The teaching began in a borrowed building at St Francis Convent School at its current site on Edward Street, Eyre. The school was named Edmund Campion College after the Jesus Priest but was universally known as Maris College and the first Campion College building on our present Gibson Street site was finished in time for term two. 1973 was the final year of the Maris Brothers Campion College for boys because in 1974, Burdekin Catholic High School was born. This in itself was an epic event. The co-educational Burdekin Catholic High School was to take students from grade eight to grade 10, while St. Francis became the Catholic primary school for younger boys and girls of the district. By 1980, the first cohort of Year 11 students commenced, and in 1981, the first senior class, consisting of 18 young men and women, graduated BCHS. The Maris brothers left our school in 2000, after 47 years in the Burdekin. We are thankful for the legacy they have left us. Guided by the Holy Spirit, Jesus recognized the inherent dignity of every person he encountered reaching out especially to those who felt marginalized. As a marriage community, we ask for this same inspiration as together we pray. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide and inspire our leaders to care for the most vulnerable in society and put in place policies with the intention of protecting and preserving our common home. In communion, we pray. For the church, we pray for Pope Francis and all our spiritual and church leaders that they be blessed with courage and wisdom to face the challenges of leading the church in this modern world. In communion, we pray. For Maris communities, we pray in thanksgiving for the generations of Maris people whose dedication and generosity of spirit are the shoulders we stand upon today. 
May we always have the mission of making Jesus Christ known and loved in the way of Mary, central in our daily lives. In communion we pray. For those whose lives are troubled by sickness, mental illness or physical violence, may their families, friends and supporters renew their trust and security in loving relationships. May, we, may all members of the church be instruments of healing. In communion we pray. affected by the pandemic and by natural disasters. We pray for those who are suffering, especially our Morris community in Lismore, impacted by the floods, that we may stand in solidarity and support, offering assistance where we can. In communion we pray. Lord, to hear our prayers. For our own intentions, we pray with Mary, our good mother and mother of the church, that she walks with us, sharing our joys and sufferings of every day and modelling a trust in God. In communion we pray. Lord, hear our Holy God, you sent your son Jesus to be a beacon of hope for all eternity. May his light and love shine brightly within our lives and through our marriage, marriage communities. We ask this in prayers and the prayers of our hearts through Christ our Lord. Take our breath, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the sign of your life with us yet. We are yours. We are yours. Take our bread. We ask you take our hearts. We love you take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. Are yours. Your holy people standing washed in your blood. Spirit fill your hungry, we await your food. We are poor, but we brought ourselves a bread.
Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks and to praise you for all your gifts as we contemplate your saints in glory. Like a loving parent, you always watch over us and your people. You gave us Mary as a good mother, first among the believers, a just and simple woman. You gave us Maslin, Chapman, how do you call it? Chap, Chapanant. Chapanant, a man who truly reflects you, your loving faithfulness in his com commitment to serving you and your people. His life was a living witness to the ideal that he presents to his first followers. To become a brother means to strive to become holy. Though Christ, through Christ, the angels in heaven offer their prayers of adoration as they rejoice in your you forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human's hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human's hands to become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Eternal Father, through your love that we celebrate this 150th anniversary, grant as we gather this morning your grace to live as the saints live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord, in, whom, in him you have been pleased to renew all things giving us all a share in his fullness. And so with the angels and saints, we rejoice and praise you singing. You are indeed holy, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the supper, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Tim, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co wives to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father the words of our Savior, the word our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
we have the gluten free with oh yes, Stephanie. Yes. Gluten free with Stephanie. Those who are gluten free should come to Stephanie.
just no one, no one else can touch my heart like you do. Oh, and I could search, I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. touch my heart who can touch my heart there is none like you none like you Let us pray. Nourish with the body and blood of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that we who celebrate the great work that you have accomplished in your church through St. Marceline may be strengthened by the power of this sacrament and inspired to undertake ever greater apostolic work. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Vatican Catholic High School has a proud Mara's tradition, as was shared by our school leaders during the reflection. It is fitting then, as part of the 100th and 50th anniversary of Mara's schools in Australia, that we symbolise this strength and tradition by presenting the Marist heart to our school community. The Marist heart is a symbol of the great love of Christ, and it recalls the tradition of our Marist founders placing names into a heart and placing it on the altar at the beginning of Mass. For us at Burdekin Catholic High School, this Marist heart symbolises our connection as one family. We are one in Christ. It also symbolises our love for one another. We are known and loved. Within our Marist heart, the names of every member of our school community will be placed. Our Marist heart will be placed in the chapel the spiritual home of our school, and will be a constant reminder that Burdekin Catholic High School is a place where we are known and loved and where we are one in Christ. I invite Father Daniel to come and bless our Marist heart and then lead us in the final blessing and dismissal. Let us pray. Holy Father, you reveal, you have revealed the commandments of the new law through your only begotten Son, and show us how to put in, it into practice by the inspiring example of St. Marceline. In this 150th anniversary of Mary's brothers in Australia, may our hearts be open in gratitude, strengthened by the same spirit calling us forward in this present time. Grant that the heart being the source of our strength, and the source of everything be with us, that we copy the hearts of Jesus Christ. We ask you to bless this heart in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Shall we rise for final blessing? God of love, your spirit ignited the house of St. Marceline. Companions. Sorry to. Champagnon. Sorry for the name. With burning passion for God and deep compassion for all people. You call him and the early marist to bring this message of God's tender and all-embracing love to the young and especially those most in need. Generations have inspired by his example of humility, simplicity, audacious courage to form good Christians and citizens throughout the Catholic education of young people. We pray with Mary, our guide, and good mother, that you continue to bless us and all community to marriage education, committed to marriage education with St. Marceline, the spirit and heart that knew no doubt. May it renew the whole church in its mission to make Jesus Christ known and loved in Mary's way through spreading your companion and love to the ends of the earth. Amen. Mary, our good mother, pray for us. Saint Marceline, pray for us. Saint Mary of Cross Machila, pray for us. And let us always remember to pray for one another. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go now in peace to use the gift of God. God has given you, given us to love and to serve one another. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Father Daniel. Thank you to all our um, past students, families and staff for joining us here either in person today or during our live stream. Um, we'd like to invite our guests um, to our hospitality centre for some um, morning tea. Um, whilst our guests depart, can I ask our students just to please be seated.
Montaigne. Okay, um, it's Clarence's turn to pack up the chair, so I'll ask Clarence to remain behind, please. Um, can I ask years seven and eight on this side, please stand and move off to lesson two, please. All right, people on this side, standing up, heading off to lesson two, please. Thank you.